So you've got a problem where Excel seems to be changing dates to random numbers. In my scenario, I've got a lookup where I'm looking up the date hired for whatever name I put in F3. And to do that, I'm using a VLOOKUP function. You might be using MATCH and INDEX or XLOOKUP. But you're probably going to come across the same scenario if that formula is returning or trying to return a date. So instead of Brenda's date of the 4th of May 1995, I'm getting this seemingly random number. Now the first thing to know is that that isn't a random number. It's actually the serial number for Brenda's date hired date. So every date that Excel recognizes is assigned a serial number. And Excel's date system starts on the 1st of the 1st, 1900. And if I changed the format for that cell by going up to this format menu here and changing it to general, you can see that that date is assigned the number one. So these numbers are actually a count of days from the 31st of December, 1899. So there's a very simple solution to getting rid of this seemingly random number, and that is to format the cell with the date format. So if I select that cell, go up to this format menu, and that's on the home tab of your ribbon, and just change the format to short date, and then it will return the date. If you want the date to be formatted in a different way, then what you can do is right click on the cell and go to format cells or use the shortcut key control one and then you can go to custom and there's a really easy way to reformat your dates the format that's currently being used you can see in the type box here dd slash mm slash yy yy now i can go in there and edit those characters and watch the sample box as i make changes in this type box if i type another d you can see that it gives me an abbreviated day of the week another d gives me the full name of the day of the week. If I put a space in and then put a D in, it puts the number of the day of the month. Space again. If I type in M, it gives the number of the month. And then more M's will give the name of the month. Four M's will give the full name of the month. May only has three characters, so three M's sufficed. But for September, you'd need four M's. And then the year, you can just type in three Y's. Click on OK. I need to widen this column. And you can see that that works really nicely. Now, there is another way around this solution. I'm just going to take that format off. And that is to use the text function. Now, the text function will convert a number to a text format of your choice. So what I've done is I've put text in front of my lookup function. It has two arguments, value which is going to be the formula that's returning a seemingly random number. And then you put a comma in. And then in quotation marks, you use those characters that we're using earlier on to format our date. So for example, I could write dd slash mm slash yyyy. Close the quotation marks. Close the bracket, press enter. And it returns the date. Now, that's despite the fact that I haven't changed the format of the cell to date. The difference here is that this is now stored as a text value rather than a numeric value. So you may come across the problems later on if you wanted to do any calculations based on the date. But if you don't, that might be a good solution. Okay, that's what I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you next video.